follow rules, we not like the rest. Type to break a record and won't break a sweat. Heard your last attempt, we wasn't feeling that. It's over, ain't no Nova game. It's time to bring the feeling back. Hey. We don't follow rules, we not like the rest. So I know it's been a minute. It's been three months since y'all have seen me in the comp scene, at least. But I actually feel like I'm winning, right? I'm comfortable in with a team that I can actually call like a true team. So everything's already been done. You guys are going to get a chance to actually meet the team the way it builds the bond with you guys watching and with us. Um, you get to see two games right and the end goal for this is for us to win in this league now that league that we're in is a new league it's called the sfu league and if we win this league we're going to move on to a higher league which is going to be genesis i think genesis is probably going to be the next league but i just want you guys to stick with me on this journey i know it's been a minute but i'm back and i'm trying to be as more consistent as i ever was and work twice as hard but with that being said, I want you guys to, you know, meet the team and see where we go from there. I'm not going to spoil anything for these two games, but appreciate y'all for being here and I hope you guys enjoy. Where do you guys see us after we win the SFU League? Oh, I mean, I guess just doing like Genesis or Static Gaming, I guess. Mm -hmm. More of a healthy competition, I guess. All right. And honestly, I feel like after we do win this SFU league, because what Bethel was telling me, I don't know if all of you know, but we were going to do a charity event, correct me if I'm wrong, for the Genesis League. And Genesis is connected to T3 Scrims, and they're all behind SCS. So if we do win this league, then we all would have some type of recognition. And I feel like that recognition could lead us into being invited to other leagues and also helping us get our name out there a little bit more. Um, and I just wanted to see where everybody's head was at. Like, what are the chances that you guys think that we all could be in Pro League together? I, I think all of us like staying together through it all and being in Pro League together is lower than someone or all of us making the Pro League. Mm -hmm. okay. Cause it's really, I feel like it, it's hard for like any like T3, T2 team to like, go from you know t3 t2 and stick it out all the way till p1 i think that's like one of the hardest things to do with a roster mm. you know yeah yeah uh your camera froze by the way i mean you're good though and honestly uh -huh. <clears throat> as our game uh was what was it two days ago when we won i felt like the connection with us like just being all able to work off each other and the chemistry was like there and that's why i was like what if we could all like make it to that point like if we all decided to like promote our names at like the same pace as each other and actually grow with each other then it would be uh you know a package with us like a package deal so if our org wanted to pick us up it would have to get all of us it's kind of like um Penta, for example, before they were G2, they were Penta, and when they were in Pro League, um, G2 picked them up and picked everybody up. So I'm saying, like, if we was to actually make it into Pro League, then that, I feel like we would be a rare team to actually do that, to come from T4 all the way into, you know, T1, which would be, like, on the stage together and everything. And uh, remember that talk we were having, DJ, about... Uh, it was like I think it was like late, and me, you, and Lemon were in the group chat, right? And we were saying like, what would it take? And I just want to know what you guys think it would like actually take for us to get there. Like, what do we need to do differently, or what do we need to keep doing in order for us to get to probably? Oh, yeah, I was, I was saying like I'm, I feel like the pace that we're going at, or I mean, that I picked up off like where you guys left off, it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, normal stuff, of course, like you know, scrims, dry runs, go everything. Better already has a playbook. That itself is pretty good because 
you know, if anybody for, ever forgets the role, you know, it's very descriptive. I think we just keep doing that, refining what we have, and, you know, we're there. Right. I, I definitely agree. And Beto, what do you think? Because we were having our um, our downfalls with actually finding the correct roster to actually stick. And since you're, like, the coach now, do you feel like you found the right five to actually, like, be at that that um standard that you wanted us to be at uh i think as far as like competing for like like tougher leagues like you know t3 genesis or whatever Mm. i feel like we definitely have like the right foundation i guess and like you know like the we definitely at the moment we do have like the people to do that um I think if we want to get any farther than that, at that point, you know, it comes down to, you know, if, if everyone wants it, you know, the same, you know, at the same level, I guess, as, you know, as like you would. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's why I was, oh, you, keep on. Uh, um, so uh. I was just, just going to say, I mean, for me, I just think, um, really, you know, as long as you, your team has the time to dedicate, you know, stick it out. Um, like I've said in the past, you know, I don't think that, you know, like CL teams, there's even some PL teams, right? I feel the only difference between them and people like, you know, like the amateurs or whatever, it's just that they have the time to dedicate to the game, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Where the average person might have to have a job and, you know, has bills to pay, so, you know, they don't have that free, extra free time, I guess. Mm-hmm. I, I agree and back going back to like what you said like if everybody wanted it is bad right and i feel like that would play a huge part like if we all wanted it as bad i feel like we have potential to make it and what was i about to say this goes back to dj as well like dj didn't have to like uh hit me up or dj didn't have to like put in as much time as he did to actually want to play the game like as he does now and actually help me specifically get to my goal right with everybody here and helping everybody else get to their goal so that's one thing that i do appreciate about dj on top of that him being like our fragger and everything knowing the game i felt like he brought me into an environment where people actually know what they're doing and people that can actually help out each other and I feel like that's one of the strongest things we have right now as a team. Like us being able to just get here right now with our cameras on and actually talk about what we want. I don't think you would see another T3, T4 team doing it like we are, right? Unless, no, no. Yeah, unless you would uh, say that somebody made them. Like I kind of, you know, made y'all do this. But we're not going to talk about it. But um, yeah, I just wanted to know where everybody's head was at. And I wanted to put it out there to show everybody that we are dedicated and we can make it and to look out for us. So that that's all I wanted. That's that's pretty much it. So thank y'all. I mean, if I could just like yeah. jump in for a second, right? Yeah, go ahead. I think one of the things that makes us such a strong team is just the fact that it's kind of like coming from a foundation of just a group of friends. Mm-hmm. Like most teams are just people who come in, have experience, and they try to make it work. But our background is just we're just a group of friends. You know, we play siege, we play other games together, and we build that chemistry with each other. And, It really has to come down to just like, you know, being in an environment that everyone's comfortable with and, you know, just enjoying playing with each other. If we made it too too much about the game, we would lose ourselves, you know what I mean? But everyone's in here to have fun and, you know, just play. Yeah, I definitely agree with that too. And uh, just just before we go, I'm just going to say this on camera, all right? I do not owe DJ 20%. No, I don't. (laughs) All right, I'm just putting that out there. But yeah, I appreciate it. I'm going to go and end it. Welcome to uh, today's uh, group stage game with uh, Night Shift and the Ultimate Monkeys. We're going to get started uh, with Night Shift attacking first. Ultimate Monkeys uh, defending on Oregon. 3v2 post plan situation with Night Shift uh, having an advantage here. We are at 3v2 right now. Oh, Whoa. Lemon swings and gets Delta off of Master Breach and then Kylo getting the last kill. Rooney charge. One swing at me, one swing. That's Kate, that's Kate, he said. Yo, one, one thing, Kate. Plant is actually going down by. Never mind. I lemon here. 
Apparently there's oh. nothing. Pain. Hey, rotate up. Rotate dead, up. dead, dead. Last Right now it's a 1v3, but one of the uh, 15 seconds left in the round. Ooh, but he's dead. Nice. Jeez. So no. top white and just is able to walk up white and get the kill with uh, Jaeger's both of his barbed wires and you know nowhere nowhere to be found. Then one of those could have been on white and the um, Maverick had no Delta idea. Could still be alive. He saw the drone coming in, but he had no idea someone was, was pushing on those stairs. Yes. Oh no, it looks like, like Ellis getting drone. That's a triple call kill for DJ. That's, oh, Ooh, that's quad. Kill. He can go for the ace right here. DJ is eating. He's six going down the ace. by the Havana. Let's see what goes on here. There, there is no call where uh, the mute is right now. Oh, he just dropped. dropped. If I'm not mistaken, they have drones watching that drop though. So they're, they're oh, yeah. They are, just, are his teammates going to be kind enough? Of, oh, they're not going to be kind enough to let him get the ace. So it's that, sir. Or what? In closet, thermite. Thermite's in closet. He's placing this breach. Still in closet. That's on and watching Ooh. him currently. Able to get the nitro cell from below. And the, and the uh, cam, even though it's spotting him. We have a jump in his white stairs. Oh, and DJ is able to pick it off. Kill. It's wild. Fantastic game. Oh. oh, and he gets a wall bang through what the window a shot. at the top main. Wow. You know he's patting himself on the back right now. He is oh, so yes. happy with himself. Hopefully he does not let his ego take over and he throws his life away. It is a 5v2. They are in the runs of getting a flawless round. The two alive are the top frags for Ultimate Monkey, so... We have an engagement with Jaeger and Jinka. And Jaeger wins that engagement out without taking any damage. Last is on Big Window and Nose Big Window and DJ swings and gets another 4k. On a That's flawless two 4ks in a row. For just holding his cross. Close with the shotgun. He, he, wants to, he wants to get close and personal. He wants to, to peek around All and say hello. Is... Nice. One, another one pit. Last one. Swinging, swinging, swinging. GG. Nice. Let's go. GG. And gets the kill. The final kill of the game. Giving the... Win to night shift with a seven three victory. I'm gonna have to see. Three. How are we dead? How are we dead? One. Go for it, DJ. Nading. Pushing up behind you, Joe. No, still in closet. Still in I'm holding your rotate. Are we dead? I'm holding your rotate. Okay. I smoke closet off. I think one of the ones are rotate. Where's last? Where's last? I think one of the rotate. Not sure though. I'm gonna try to push in. Okay. Yep. Okay. Nice. I'm gonna go for this plant. I'm not sure we're Holding hallway. Nice. Good, nice. Good, Good job. Good shit, I'm on breach. Holding bomb. I'm not even. I'm letting him swing me. Games. Coming back. Jeez. Baited it. Oh, you Good shit. Sure. Let's go. Oh, Good use of fire. Yeah. Big fucking brain. 20 seconds. Watch your long. Where? In bunker. Push out the pillar. Peeking e bug. I'm playing close. I'm playing close. There's another one there. That's that, mate? Another one there. Last two there. Okay. That's that, Maverick? Fucking pillar. Let's go. Let's go. Pause. Is he still adding? He dropped swamp. Okay. Whoa. I saw a breach. One's going on repel. Hey, Fuck me. Wow. Kid, kid, he's gonna go kid rotate. Fuck, I need to. Dead. I can't go back up main. I need to go play with you. Play, play, play my defaults. Play my defaults. He's on a fireball. Smoking. Then default. He's around the bomb. Right on ZP. Right here in uh, he's heard me coming. Got off, got off, got off, got off. Oh. Nice run, run, run. Nice. Nice. Good job, bro. That's they, they, they grenaded me. I got grenaded to be stun and regular stun at that fucking trophy door, but she didn't cook the fry long enough to kill.
All right, so I just finished up with the the most recent game, and we made it to the playoffs. So the whole goal of this, like I said previously, is to win in this league. And the sooner we can do that, the sooner we can get into better leagues and actually get our name out there. So I appreciate y'all coming by. The next episode will obviously be the playoffs and see where we go. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and follow the team's new Twitter to help us uh, grow and also get our name out there. But I appreciate y'all stopping by.